everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video, we're going to be unboxing the Briar Collector Club model out of the blue, and also some fan mail from CA Morningstar. So we're going to first start out with the package from CA Morningstar. Now I do know a little bit about what this is. It's going to be a custom, but I have not seen any pictures of it yet. And she gave a little note here. Thank you so much for this. This was so sweet of you. Let's get into unboxing this model. Oh, it looks like it even comes in a little pony pouch here. And here it is almost free. There he is. Oh, he is so cute. He is an adorable little chestnut on the little Briar Stablemate and Illusion mold. He is super adorable. He even has a little white snip on his nose. And I love this really tall white sock on his leg. I think that's a really fun little marking for him. He is very adorable. Thank you so much, CA Morningstar. This is such a lovely little gift. Next up, we're going to be unboxing Out of the Blue, who is a Briar Collector Club special for 2019. Now, I actually ordered this model on the day that she came out, but it's basically taken a month for me to actually get her. Because for some reason, it took three weeks for her to be shipped to my house, and then I was away, so I didn't actually get to get her until I got back. So it was literally exactly a month until I actually got to get this model. I did see a little bit of this model already in person at Briar West, but I haven't really gotten a super close-up look at her yet. I'm excited to see her. Oh wow, she is very blue. Like more blue than I was expecting, and I'll show you guys what I mean in a moment. All right, here she is. Out of the blue, and she is on the Bobby Joe or Working Cow Horse mold. She is like really blue though, like they actually used blue in her paint. So let's start taking a closer look at her. She has a very pretty face. It's a nice dark, dark gray. Not quite black, more like a dark gray. She has a big white star on her forehead, which is really neat. I like how it's kind of jaggedy on one side. She has the basic black and white briar eyes. And if it looks like she has blue eyes, that's just from my ring light. That's not actually what they look like. They're just black and white. I love her pinto markings. I think they're really cool. I love that there's two of them on her neck that then give her a white and black mane. It's always kind of fun when models have two different colors in their manes like that. And then there's the underside of her mane and more of these really awesome pinto markings. I really like these. Here's more of her markings on the other side of her. Then she has a big marking on her haunches that connects from her legs up to her back and then back down to her other leg, which looks really cool. And she has a tiny little pinto marking right there I really like the design of this model for her coloring. Her tail is also two colored with black at the top and white at the bottom. And I actually really like how they painted this. This looks really cool. This is like airbrushed on, but instead of just being like a simple gradient of black fading to white, it actually is painted so that there's some black coming down into the white and some white coming up into the black. It looks really neat. I like it when Briar does just a little bit more detail like this of blending the colors in like that. I think that looks really nice and a little bit more realistic. I really like how they did her tail. 
She has white stockings on the front of her legs and her right leg actually has the marking coming all the way up like the back of her leg. You can see what I'm talking about. That's kind of neat, but it's lower in the front of the leg. And then on the other front leg, it's kind of the opposite. It has it kind of going up higher on the side of her leg, but the white marking is lower down on the inside of her leg. She has a gray chestnut painted there, which is slightly off the mark, but not too bad. And then she actually has a gray chestnut on the other side as well. And for her other legs on the white markings, they're very like in between a peach and a pink color. It might look a little less saturated on camera, but they look really saturated right now to me. Like just a very kind of bright colored chestnut. I don't know how I feel about that. I do really like her hooves. They are really nicely done. As you can see, she has some spots on her hooves with some really nice black striping. This side does not have any striping, but it does have a little spot there. This hoof has some, has some spots and striping on the front of it. On the back hooves, they both have some striping and spots again. And this back left hoof actually has striping and spots on both sides. On her belly, it says Collector Club 2019. Now, I didn't really go over her coloring much besides the paint markings, so let's get into that. So I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on camera, and I'll maybe try to saturate it just a tiny bit so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But on this spot especially, she's like very blue, like they actually used blue paint on her. She's not just black and white roning that kind of looks like blue. She's actually got <laughs> straight up blue paint on her, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure entirely how I feel about that because it, I don't know if that's really feels quite as realistic looking because right here on her haunches, she just has a lot of blue right there, I feel like. And then also on her withers, it looks pretty blue up here. And her whole side here just has a nice a little more subtle blue tint, but again, there's like kind of a lot of blue on her haunches and her shoulder there. It's not that I dislike it, it's just it's not quite something I've seen Briar do. It feels maybe a tad bit less realistic than if it was the general bronze that Briar does like on the Nakoda model, which feel a little bit more of a natural blue. But she is still really pretty and I like how they did the roning of her. As you can see, the roning is mostly this base color with some black speckles kind of thrown in there everywhere. She's just a, she's an interesting color. This one I feel like is e even a little different from the ones I've seen. She's a lot more blue than I think what I saw at Briar West. The ones I saw there were kind of the general, a little bit more on the black and white side, blue roans, but this one is definitely blue. She is, she is very blue. I don't mind though because it goes with her name and she's she's very pretty still. I actually really like some of the shading they did on her. She has some nice shading on her neck and on her shoulders. Her haunches have some pretty cool shading too. Her haunches on that side have some darker shading. More shading on her legs. I really like the shading on the side of her neck. I think it came out really nice. I'm actually pretty impressed with this model overall in her paint job. I think they did a really good job on her. She doesn't really have any flaws except for the little minor ones that all briars get. Overall, I do really like her. I was just not expecting her to be so blue, but she is, she is very blue. She's got blue paint in there for sure. But I really like her and I was excited about this model ever since she was announced. And I really like these colors and patterns on this mold. I think it really suits the Bobby Joe mold. And I'm really glad they did this as a collector club model because I think she is just lovely. Thank you again to CA Morningstar for this adorable little custom. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a super duper awesome day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!